Thanks, Pat. Thanks for going. I'm not sure what would be where to properly name the what I'm looking for a lappy or something, but um, anyway. Um, it's not that far to come down, so um, um, it's probably one of our uh, first real promo visits down this way after um, 16 years in business. So it's um, you know it's been a long time coming. Um, so we're really happy to be here, and um, um, and it's great to um, have the beers on on at the new Sydney. Um, so while you're enjoying uh, one of our special Tank 9 releases, um, I can tell you about the Tank 9 stuff. Um, I'll perhaps just give you, um, for those who don't know much about Holgate, I'm happy to give you a bit of a backstory about uh, when we started, why we started, what we're about. Yeah. Happy to answer any questions you want um, about uh, our beers, the industry, um, anything you want to throw at me, um, I'll, um, I'll try, and, uh, try and answer for you. So uh, first of all, um, uh, why are we in business? Um, when did we start? All that sort of stuff. So. Um, we're in business because I love making beer, uh, for starters. So um, I started the brewery uh, back in 1999, um, so 16 years ago. Um, and um, it was probably a pretty crazy idea back then because there was no craft industry. Today, it's a you know, bloody fantastic craft industry in Australia and it's um, thanks to people like you guys. So a hand of applause for all you guys. Way to go. Come on. And and for venues like New Sydney for having the, having the balls to put on craft beer. So give a clap to Alan New Sydney. Back when we started in 1999, there wasn't this vibe, this feel about the industry. It was bloody hard. Um, so um, in 1997, uh, myself and my wife were around about 30 years of age. Um, we were um, on a holiday to the US. Um, I was a mad home brewer. I didn't even know about the US craft industry in those days. Um, we're both uh, science graduates. I was uh, beating home brewing since 92 um, at home, um, doing all grain brewing way back then. Madly brewing away. We live in Wood End, um, which is um, an hour's drive out of Melbourne. I was doing a commute every day, my, my wife was. We were looking to start a family and um, looking to uh, start a business. And we came across the small brewing industry in the States and we said, let's do this. Let's have, let's have a go at this. And what really struck us about the, in a few little brew pubs we saw around uh, Denver and Aspen and so on was the fact they were small. They were obviously didn't have a lot of money, they were cobbled together, they were just ordinary folks having a go. And we thought, hey, we're ordinary folks, let's have a go, we, we can do that as well. So I uh, we went to the bank and um, loaned some money against the house and cobbled together a brewery in our backyard. So we put a shed in, we saw some um, uh, second-hand brewing kit, the same brew house we're still using today, by the way. We've upgraded the cellar and bottling line and a whole lot of things along the way. They were using the same brew house. Um, so we put that together and started the business in 99, and away we went. Um, we knew we had small volume to, um, to sell, so we started off with a couple of styles, and our ESB um, and, a, uh, and a Belgian-style Whitby we called White Ale back then. Um, so I was brewing a White Ale, um, because uh, I was working for a Dutch company in the 90s and when I went to head office over there, those guys got me on the drink in Hoop Garden. I think even before it became popular over, over here, I was, uh, I was home brewing that in the mid-90s. So we started off with those two sort of um, uh, styles um, and um, you know, started a uh, pale up later, about three years later. So we went from strength to strength um, in a way. Um, the wife delivering um, uh, kegs of beer in the, um, in the back of the car with little babies and um, you know, and you know, all that sort of stuff. So we had, we had little babies at the same time. Three years later, I quit my day job. We took over a pub in Wood End and we're still there today. So we took over this pub in Wood End. Wood End's halfway between Melbourne and Bendigo. So it's a country brewery, we're not actually a Melbourne brewery. So all of our sales are export, if you like, exported from our small village of Wood End to wherever, be it, um, be it Perth, Brisbane, Hobart or Melbourne. Um, so we're a, we're a country Victorian brewery, one hour out of Melbourne, halfway between Melbourne and Bendigo. We've got a double story um, um, red brick hotel, a gold mine here hotel, built in 1996, restaurant, accommodation, all that. It's a bit of a plug if you ever come over our way. It's about an hour's ride on the train. You can walk from the train station, it's fantastic. So come along and, um, and enjoy that. Um, so uh, fast forward, um, we've got um, we've got a big expansion plan for the new brew that we're going to put in, um, and um, but we're also doing a lot of little stuff. We've got this little tank nine where this say song we've been making comes from. So um, our batch size is 1600 litres. We brew uh, four batches to a uh, 5,000 litre um, uh, fermenter. But we've also got a little half batch tank, 1,000 um, uh, litre, we do eight to 900 litre batches. We're just continually turning that over, doing um, uh, product development, testing more materials, um, trying new hops, new malts, and just having a bit of a play around. All the brewers um, have a bit of fun. 
So, um, so we did um, did a did a saison. Um, we call it saison de Barry. Um, the Barry is the quintessential um, Aussie farmer. We thought, um, and um, um, it's a it's a um, it's a you know a, a farmhouse a style ale a saison. So um, tastes a little bit a little bit funky with the mixed yeast um, from the saison style. Um, it's quite refreshing. Um, uh, not very hoppy, so um, hope you enjoy it. Um, we've got a few other beers uh, coming along tonight. Uh, I'll get up and have a chat about them. So uh, I've got some. Uh, we're going to um, pull out six door prizes tonight as well. So I'm going to pull one out in a minute. Uh, but in the meantime, has anyone got any questions you want to ask about Holgate, the beers, brewing, the industry? Any questions? You can think of it in the meantime while I, while I pull out uh, a door prize. 